As Jean-Michel Basquiat went from being a homeless graffiti artist in his native Brooklyn to selling paintings for thousands and thousands of dollars. And along the way, he collaborated with Andy Warhol. And now, almost 30 years after his death, he is considered by many to be one of the most important artists of the 20th century. This week, one of his best-known works went on display at the Brooklyn Museum. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon here now with much more. Sandy. Dave, Jean-Michel Basquiat grew up in Park Slope, East Flatbush, and Borham Hill. So the Brooklyn Museum does seem a natural natural place for one Basquiat, a display of his single most valuable work of art. Three decades after his death, Basquiat is back in Brooklyn, back at the same museum the artist who would become so famous first came as a boy. His mother enrolled him when he was six years old in our education programs. His membership card with Jean-Michel's signature on the back is displayed opposite his untitled painting from 1982. You look at that painting and you feel the energy contained in there and it feels like it's screaming out at you. His father was from Haiti, his mother from Puerto Rico. He got his start on our streets. He was actually doing a lot of graffiti. For today's first graders growing up in the neighborhood where he once lived, Basquiat is really inspiring. His artwork is very, um, like, different and unique. This canvas sold for more than $110 million, the highest price ever paid for a painting by an American artist. What he did is extraordinary because he redefined the idea of art. Basquiat bridged many cultures before his premature death due to a drug overdose at the age of 27. And three decades later, his influence is on the rise, along with the prices paid for his work. He shows the, the, the complexity and the richness of, of black culture. You know, we often talk about black history of black culture as one experience. And actually, it's a universe unto itself. One portal, one way into that universe can be found at the Brooklyn Museum through March 11th. And details are on our website, ABC7NY. The painting is on loan from a collector who plans to build a museum around it in Japan.